here come the mixed doubles players for the second of our quarter-final matches here this afternoon from the Surrey Fort Sports Complex here in Delhi. Led out by Shoji Sato, his partner Shizuka Matsuo. And my goodness, they caused a sensation yesterday by disposing of the number one seeds. Their opponents, the Indonesian pair of Mohamed Rijal and Debbie Susanto. There's the Japanese team. Lovely to see them all here down at the arena supporting all their teammates. In fact, Japanese players involved in every single discipline. Of course, five disciplines in badminton, men's and women's singles, men's and women's doubles, and mixed doubles as well. Well, there's part of the Indonesian team. Tantoi, Ahmad, he will be playing later on with Lilian and Atsia, of course. Japanese pair in the slightly brighter red shirts. I have to say, I thought it was a BWF ruling that in quarterfinal stage onwards that the opposing pairs or players had to wear distinctly different coloured kit, but that's obviously not being enforced here in this quarterfinal. Those pairs wearing predominantly red and black shorts. So there is uh, Mohamed Rijal, the 24-year-old from Tangarang, which is about 20 kilometers west of Jakarta. And as you can see, a negative win-loss record for this year. Just four previous tournaments, three times reached the last 16 in Korea and Malaysia, and last week, incidentally, in Chengdu at the Asian Badminton Championships. So Debbie Susanto, 21 years of age. And as you can see, two Indian pairs had difficulties yesterday in the second round throw being pushed the full distance in that one. First round match, incidentally, was just 14 minutes. One of the quickest matches of the whole tournament. So if the Japanese pair, well, Soji Sato, the man, he is on the right as we look at them. He's 28 years of age, his partner 24. Shizuka Matsuo, born in Osaka. And this is a brand new pairing. Only four previous tournaments together. But look at that result yesterday. In the second round, they disposed of the number one seed, Sukkip Prakamol and Sarri Tong Tongkam, the All England finalists from earlier this year. And they disposed of them in two straight games. 21-19, 21-16. So very, very impressive form from the Japanese combination yesterday. Kate from Hong Kong and our service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, 
On my right, Mohammed Vijay, Debbie Susanto, Indonesia. And on my left, Zoe Sato, Shizuka Masuo, Japan. Debbie Susanto to serve Shizuka. Love all, play. So the number seven seeds from Indonesia, Mohamed Rijal and Debbie Susanto, nearest to us. One, love. Unseeded combination of Shoji Sato and Shizuka Matsuo, ranked 100 in the world at the moment, the Japanese pair, and that's because they've only got four tournaments towards that world ranking, because they are a brand new pairing. Two, love. Indonesian pair, on the other hand, have been playing together. This is their third year in this partnership, but yet to win a title. One of those pairs that always does well in international competition, Three, but has yet love. to translate that into tournament titles. It's a very good start by the, the number seven seeds. This incidentally is the first time that these two pairs have met each other. Not surprising when the Japanese pair are such a new partnership. Oh. Service over. Mistake from the 24-year-old Mohamed Rejal. In his partner was semi finalist last year. Lost out to Diju Valiavito and Juala Gota from India and went on to take the title. Service over. And sadly for Diju Valiavito, unable to defend his title because he's going to have back surgery. He wants to be fully fit for the start of the Olympic qualifying period, which of course starts in a few days' time. Oh, that's a tremendous smash. Brilliant Six, play. One. Well, I say that the Indonesians haven't won a title together. Mohamed Rijal has won a Super Series event previously. That was in Japan in 2008, playing with Vita Marissa. Seven, one. We have started in tremendous form. one-way traffic at the one. moment in these early stages it's difficult to understand how Sato and Matsuo managed to dispose of the number one seeds yesterday not recapturing that form at the moment Well, they've one raced to an 11 1 in lead ball. in this opening game, which I find absolutely extraordinary. I mean, had a little over three minutes of play. Total command by the number seven seeds. And already the Japanese pair looking a little bit despondent. Yeah, there's confirmation, I'm right, only three minutes of play. And a ten-point advantage, goodness me. Cop one, 20 seconds. Cop one, 20 seconds. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
That's gone wide. Trout, one. Well, Japanese coach Park Jubong, one of the greatest mixed doubles players ever. He's a wonderful men's doubles player as well. Former Olympic champion, first ever Olympic champion in the mix in the men's doubles. Well, he's looking a very concerned man at the moment. His players just are not finding their rhythm at all. Error there 14, from one. Shoji Sato. 14-1. Can you believe it? Hitting the shuttle in a downward direction. Lovely drop shot. But at 13 points adrift. Suspects it's too much of a tall order to win this opening oh. game, especially with Mohamed Arejal hitting smashes like that. 16, two. Oh. Well, that's a good return Stop of serve. Three, Shizuka Matsuo is a fine women's doubles player as well. Number seven in the world at the moment with Nani Nato. Gone long with the back line, Four, and as far 16. as the Japanese pair are concerned, they really do have to hang in as long as possible in this opening game, even though it's highly improbable they can actually win it. But they've got to play themselves into the match so far, Five, they're not even in the rallies. Got to get themselves some sort of confidence before the start of the second game. Broken the strings of his racket with that smash. Sato. That's why he made the error. And you immediately. There's Park Jubal, former Korean player, Olympic gold medalist, men's doubles in Barcelona in 1992, silver medalist in mixed doubles four years later. In fact, came out of retirement for the Atlanta Olympic Games. Good placement on the cross court smash towards Shizuka Matsuo. Uh, aiming towards her right hip. She's still trying to play with the backhand action. Making the error. a well-worked rally out of their favoured formation six. with Debbie Suzanto moving to the back of the court. She prefers to be at the net, but my goodness, more than competent at thundering down that smash. Perfect placement to get her partner involved. Trenty, game point six. 
Well, 14 game points now for the number seven seeds. That's an incredible Seven. shot. Seven. Where Seven. on earth did that come from? Well, I suppose when you're so far adrift, you might as well try something extraordinary. And indeed it was. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, what on earth happened there? Eight, take her eye off the shuttle. Service fault called, Eight. struck above the waist, says the service judge. And the service fault gifts the opening game First to game the number seven Adam seeds. 21-8 confirms the umpire. Just ten minutes of play. Caught one twenty seconds. Caught one twenty seconds. Sisuta, do we see? So the umpire calls the players back on court. The 22nd remaining of the timeout, an indication that the players should return. Well, they were totally dominant in the opening game were Mohamed Rijal and Debi Susanto. 21-8 in just 10 minutes of play. Just missed it. Service over. Japanese pair One now ball. nearest to us as we look down on the court. Goal. There we go. Japanese pair nearest to us. Two. One. Certainly a little more purposeful determination at the start of this second game. Not that they weren't purposeful at the start of the match, but just nothing worked for them. The Japanese pair. Three, two. That's great defence from Debbie Three, Susanto. Four. I was just thinking as the rally progressed, well, this is great from the Japanese pair. They're wanting to attack. They're hitting the shuttle in a downward direction. And having tried to be positive, well, Susanto just stepped into it and played a magnificent shot in reply. Out. Service over. 
Best rally of the match so far. Uh, it's a real pity it had to end on an error. Both players trying to outmaneuver their opponents. Incredible. Got back so Five, quickly. Four. Oh, yes, confusion between the two Japanese players. That's not surprising considering Five, this is only their fifth tournament together. No, they went, both went for it, and then both backing off from the net, and obviously vulnerable to that middle block. Stop is over. Six, five. <laughs> Pushed it long. Seven, five. That's a good rally. Neither pair willing to lift the shuttle, keeping the Six, shuttle seven. flat over the net, just pushing and probing. There's all the drives. Well, that was very interesting. Seven, Matsuo eight. determined to try and get Suzanto to the back of the court and make her play. She lifted the defensive shot right back to the back of the court. Obviously a tactic they're wanting to employ. Out. Service over. Another serve is short Nine, of the mark. Seven. Foot the whole of the opening game. What a transformation! Yeah, and indeed the Japanese combination have a four point advantage at the mid game interval. What a contrast to the opening game! Coach Paul Dubon. Ah, look, now he's telling them move further up the court. Ready for those pushes. You've got to have your racket up ready at the net. <laughs> Richard Manaki, the one, coach to the Indonesian pair. I can remember playing against him. I think we played against each other in the quarterfinal of the World Championships. He oh, was a very tricky player. Of course, older brother, and former World and Olympic champion, Rexy Manneke. 
Clever placement. Too committed to that backhand defence, Debbie Sosanto. San Getting down her forehand side. She was alert to that one, though. 8 13. idea just trying to take the pace out of the shot that's so Trenched his mind, Service I think. Ten, Should you saw top? Seems to be a nothing shot in the end. as if we're going to be treated to a third and deciding game. I wouldn't have predicted that, witnessing the opening game. The Japanese pair really struggled to find any form at all. Service over. 11-15. And it's still time for the Indonesians to come back in this second game. Uh, it's absolutely determined to get on the attack 12. now, the Japanese pair. And it really is paying dividends for them. Three points away from the third game now. Oh, that is tremendous. Crouch down low. Drove the shot back even quicker than it had come at him. Great play from Sato. 
two points away from the second game. Fox, service over. 13-19. Service over. Twenty game point thirteen. Yes, coming forward with all their movement, hitting down. Wonderful tactics, tactics they weren't able to employ in the opening game. And here they are on the verge of sending this to a decider. Seven game points. Service over. 14-20. She's been struggling with her low serve, hit a number that have been short of the mark. Needs to just push through the shuttle a little bit more. Susanto. Oh, that was better. Yeah, what a difference it made. Serve, return, 15, and third 20. shot. Absolutely crucial in all doubles events, but probably no more so than in mixed doubles. Aggression paid off in the second game. It is one game second all. Second game won by Zoe Sato, Shizuka Masuo, 21-15. One Score game all. confirmed by the umpire, 21-15 in the second game. And therefore it is one game more in this quarter-final. Well, it's all a question of who can get on the attack, isn't it? So there's confirmation of the score. 26 minutes in duration of the match so far. You will see. Caught one twenty seconds. Caught one twenty seconds. So there's the Commonwealth Games women's doubles champions, Joana Kota and Ashwini Fanapa. Quite a disappointment for them yesterday when they lost in the second round. They were, of course, the seeds. Final they game. were the number eight seeds. Uh, lost out to the Malaysian pair of Chin Hui and Wong Pei Ti. Delightful Love to see Wong Pei Ti back on play. court again after knee surgery. Not that the Indian crowd probably would have concurred with me. Anyway, here we go. Third and final game. Mixed doubles quarter final. Japanese pair unseeded far side of the court. Shoji Sato and Shizuka Matsuo. One love. Japanese opponents from Indonesia, the number seven seeds, Mohamed Arijal and Debbie Susanto. Oh, 
when you see the one, Japanese pair three, playing like this, one <laughs> struggles to think back how they were so outclassed in the opening game. Oh, that's a nice return of serve. One, three. Breaking the flow of play. And boy, did the Indonesians need that. Oh, good defense so from Sato. Goodness me, he's playing well now. Four, one. Used to be a very fine mini singles player. In fact, he's won 14 career singles titles. There he is. And in fact, last year in the Thomas Cup finals, caused a sensation when he played the third singles in the Thomas Cup group match so against over. Malaysia, the hosts, and beat the former All England champion, Mohamed Hafiz Hashim. Beat him in three games to secure Japan's 3 2 victory over Malaysia. Three, four. Four, all. So often mixed doubles is about which of the two women can really control the front of the court. Vital, vital role. The women play in mixed doubles. Oh, goodness so gracious. Well, Five, four. That just shows not only his skill capability, but how his confidence has turned around. Took the shuttle so low, and yet played a wonderful spinning net shot. Service over. Five all. Line. So once again, we're back level. Six, oh, what an intriguing match this has turned out to be. Oh, started in such disappointing fashion. And that's the beauty of badminton. There's time to recoup, time to change things around. So much in command. The shadow of the former selves in the opening game. Oh. Strings gone in the racket, I Eight. think, of Six. Mohamed Orijal. Yes, he's walked off court to try and change his racket. Mohammed. That's probably why he made the error with this smash. And the strings go. Just asking to test out his new racket. Very much a courtesy amongst the players. Eight, six. No, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Service over. Seven, eight. Oh, my 
Goodness, completely mistimed. Nine, seven. A yeah, little shake of the head, not surprised. Must have lost sight of the shuttle in the television lights. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, the luck of the net court for over. Debbie Sus Susanto. Eight, nine. Sheer presence and Ten, threatening eight. at the nets. Yeah, well, Park Dubon beginning to look a little more relaxed now, so he should. Surface over. Series events they've played this year, the Indonesians, the oh! right at the beginning of the year. Oh! Yeah, that's a good smash. Now, who's going to have the psychological advantage? of the one-point lead as they change ends in this deciding game. Pity he had bided his time. He played some lovely little blocks back to the net, had Sato, and then given the opportunity, headed into the net. So, indeed, it is the number seven seeds on a run of three straight points who have the advantage as the players change ends in this third and deciding game. Thirty-seven minutes. This has been in progress. One game all, and just one point in it. Caught one twenty seconds. Caught one twenty seconds. Caught three. Oh, yeah. oh, the best shuttles are made of goose feather. Oh, quite the the season, Sixteen ready. feathers. Play. So the narrowest of possible margins, just one point in it. So it's not any longer. Back level. Eleven all. Four Indonesian pairs, incidentally, a quarter-final stage in the mixed doubles. Two Thailand pairs. This Japanese pair and one Malaysian pair. So, 11. Oh. What a return of serve. That shuttle sat on the top of the net before deciding to go over. Don't get any better than that. Service over. 13, 12. Well, it really is proving whichever pair can push the opposing woman back off the net, make her defend. Our opponents are winning the rally. Oh. 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 
Over. Similar thing down in response. Oh. Here we are. Push Matsua back. And then she's vulnerable in defence. Right idea, wrong execution. 14, over. Well, over anxious to play the winner. 14 all. I knew that once Suzanto had defended that awkward shot, there was a real opportunity. And he got just a little overexcited. But once again, it's all a level. That was a good serve, rack it up, ready afterwards, looking for the third shot. Mm, on the low serve at these crucial stages. Goodness, he's quick. Well, it was such a good rally. He just sensed that it was going to take something special to end such a rally. And indeed, it was a net cord earlier on in that rally. Fuji Sato was so quick at the front of the court. He was known for his speed in men's singles. Magnificent. Shizuka Matsuo forced to the back of the court and then coming up with the most extraordinary winner. So now it's the Japanese pair back into the lead. Well, last couple of rallies, Matsuo has been magnificent. Just long. Service over. It's another excellent rally. 17 all. Very, very good judgment.
having to weather the storm. The change of pace doing the damage. One game all, 18 all. Pairs just three points away from a place in the semi final. Neither partnership has ever been in a Super Series semi final previously. But one of these pairs is going to have that experience tomorrow. the out and that's Suo anticipating so well not only anticipating playing her winning winner into exactly the right place oh dear and then makes an error on serve 19 all would you believe it Intimidated at the net, Debbie Susanto took a chance, took on Soji Sato, and the reward for that courage is a match point. from the number seven seeds, Mohamed Rajal and Debbie Susanto. Three tough games, my goodness, they were dominant in the first, taking it 21-8, but dropped the second, 15-21, and won the decider, 21-19. Match won by Mohamed, DJ, Debbie Susanto, 21-8, 15-21, 21-19. So this is the final rally. Watched it drop long. Yes, they had a wobble in the second game. And awfully tight in the decider. Great quarter-final encounter. And the number seven seeds, Mohamed Rajal and Debbie Susanto, safely through to the semi-final. And it will be an all Indonesian semi final because in their half of the draw, two Indonesian pairs battling it out for that semi final spot. So there, once again, is confirmation of the score 21 8, 15 21, 21 19 in the deciding game.